In the last video, I compared Kling Elements to other video generators such as Pika's Ingredients, but I only used one prompt. In that first video, I used Grockette, a cat, and a forest background, and somebody rightfully so mentioned, how would the AI know that this is Grockette? And that's why it's probably confused. Well, I've done a number of these videos and I tested its ability to deduce what might be Grockette because we named the cat and we named the forest. So what is left is Grockette. And it worked out pretty well with other AIs. Although in this situation, it wasn't that strong. However, fortunately, our new combinations work out much better. So in this video, I want to explore multiple prompts and multiple combinations of images to create new videos just using Kling 1.6. In one of the videos, I'll compare the results of standard and professional. I went over to Midjourney and grabbed some images from that creative community. I looked for very simple images that could be used in Elements because simple images work best. Finding different backgrounds and different objects as well as different subjects and then combining them with various prompts to see what happens. So our first combination is using this guitar with this alien and this tunnel background. Our prompt is the alien is dancing and playing the guitar in the tunnel. Let's see what we get. And here we go. Pretty darn good. I'll expand it, but it might go out of frame. But it is actually well done. It uses our alien, the guitar, in that tunnel. So the first one, I would say, really good job. The elements are clear. You have the alien, you have the tunnel, you have the guitar. And we, we, and we told Kling exactly what we wanted. Let's try another one. Let's use the dinosaur with donuts in this chair. All rather clean and focused elements. And our prompt will be the dinosaur is sitting in the chair eating the donuts. Pretty good. We have the dinosaur sitting in the chair. It's not necessarily eating these donuts, kind of eating fake donuts, but still pretty good outside of that, that element of the prompt, but I think overall, good execution. What do you think? Let's try another. How about this kitten? How about morphing into something like, ah, the tiger. There we go. Here's our background. The kitten morphs into a tiger walking toward the camera. So your direction can be endless. You could actually tell the AI what type of background you want and not supply the background, just have elements within the combination. And of course there are specific settings throughout that we can use and I'll show you an example next of standard versus professional mode. But let's see what we get here. Well, we got the butterflies. We ended up with two cats and one of them morphs into the tiger. I'm not sure that's very strong. Maybe I could have done a better job prompting. It does use our background. It does use our initial elements, but I'm not sure it worked in the way I envisioned. So let's compare modes, standard versus professional mode. So in this one, we'll use the same images and same prompt, but the difference will be standard versus professional. We'll use this frog sitting on this chair with this drink. Frog sitting on the white chair having a drink. And what we'll do is we'll start off with standard mode. And let's use 9 by 16 for social media. Let's see what we get. So here we are, and it looks pretty good. The frog and the white chair and the drink. It's not necessarily drinking the drink, but... I think it's a good image overall. It completes the prompt pretty well. It says having a drink, but it doesn't matter too much in this situation. I could have been more specific in my prompt, but I think we're 
getting some nice movement and the frog is actually acting like a frog, blinking its eyes. Pretty good, and this is standard mode. Now let's see what we get with professional mode. And here's professional mode. And yeah, there's higher quality, there's more movement of the frog. The frog has more realistic feet. If you notice in the other one, the feet seemed a little off. Um, I had, did not mention that, but you may have observed that. The frog is looking around a little bit more. The drink, it, it took the prompt the same way, using the drink in the foreground, the frog in the background, but much higher quality overall. Even the lighting is of higher quality than the first one, where the first one, it was a little flat. It, it did not have the same mood as the professional, as you see here. Let's try another combination. Ah, let's use this background. Ah, let's use this. And who are we going to be in the scene? Who are we going to put in the scene? Ah, this guy. I'm not sure what he is, so I'm just going to call it a person. The person sits on the white bench. Obviously, I didn't mention the room or anything, but let's see what happens. And here we are. Eh, it's pretty straightforward. Let's uh, open it up here. Yeah, absolutely. That's the room. That's the white bench. And then our little friend here. I like it. Well done. The next one I'm going to show you, I tried earlier and it really did not work out. So maybe we can look at it and see why it may not have worked. So I used this tree background, a hummingbird, the squirrel, and the cat, space cat. And it really didn't work out that well. Maybe my squirrel, the hummingbird, and the space cat are racing through the mountains. And they're, I'm not really sure why it just, it very much may have needed a stronger prompt with more details, maybe what each of the elements, the squirrel and the space cat and the hummingbird, what each of them were doing in the race. Uh, right now, it's just a bunch of randomness. The background is correct. and But other than that, it looks like the squirrel turned into a fox. So anyway, that's that, that, that one didn't work. So let me know what combination of prompts and images you used I hope you enjoyed my adventures with Kling Elements. I think overall, it's a good addition to the AI video creation community. Hey, if you want to hear more about AI, check out our podcast every Monday right here on this YouTube channel or your favorite podcast location where we are two creative guys talking AI.